with Vedanta. Vedanta will return to run and resuscitate operations of KCM as a majority shareholders alongside KC ZCCM IH. I want to say to Vedanta that underline the word resuscitate. Therein lies the benefit to the Zambian people. We don't want running battles. We, like the Minister Copperbelt said, the, the Vedanta under UPND is going to be different. We are very positive about that. Ladies and gentlemen, you may recall that on 7th September 2022, ZCCM Investment Holdings PLC, Vedanta Resources Limited, Vedanta Resources Holdings Limited, and Concola Copper Mines KCM provisional liquidator entered into a written agreement to suspend the hearing of the disputes between the two parties, Vedanta Resources on one hand and ZCCMIH on the other, to pursue amicable settlement of the disputes. The parties engaged in discussions to resolve the disputes and have reached a significant milestone. As part of the resolution, all disputes between the parties have been resolved and all proceedings relating to the disputes will be withdrawn with each party bearing their own costs. Consequently, the KCM board will be reinstated and Vedanta Resources Limited will return to its previous role as the majority shareholder of KCM based on the following mutually agreed conditions. And these conditions, like mentioned by Vedanta themselves, have been are embedded in the agreements. Number one, renewed financing commitment towards investment in mine development and key in the mine development is the Concola Deep Mining Project, famously known as KDMP. That is the future of KCM. So there is an emphasis that KDMP must be a priority even as uh, you know, the, the shareholders agreement is reinstated. And that is to increase productivity, to create more jobs, more revenue, and more activity around the mine. An increase in employee salaries and a one-off payment. I think those details were given. And that one is immediately the, the, the shareholders are... Re I, so, I thought there are unions to clap on this. <laughs> Mr. Chewe, you are not happy. Immediately after reinstatement, your workers are going to have a, 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 an increase. And there is a one-off payment. I hope the media picked the percentage. I'm not Vedanta, so Vedanta has announced the figures. So pick that list. So there will also be an investment in robust and transparent environmental, social, and governance programs. And the figure that has been given is really something that would change the three towns where Vedanta will be domiciled. It's quite substantial and it is going to become annually. This is very important to us. Then, number four, and very critical to Mr. Costa, a settlement of local outstanding creditor debts by supplier, by contractor, <laughs> Additionally, government's golden share, imagine even the golden share, was neglected and dealt away with. This government is saying the government golden share will be reinstated as a safeguard to ensure the asset is protected. In this regard, the parties are working towards concluding revisions to the shareholders agreement and the implementation agreement on new terms as stated which agreements will be legally binding on the parties to ensure that the renewed commitments are fulfilled i want to make a point here through this press briefing to all the mining companies that the ministry of mines will follow the mines and minerals act to the latter one of the things that was neglected is just following the law. That when an investor misbehaves, implement the Mines and Minerals Act, supervise them. And my ministry will be on hand, 
That's why you've heard we are introducing the Minerals Commission Act, which will replace the Mines and Minerals Act of 2015. I hope, Minister of Justice, I'm quoting them right. It's not my domain. But we are going to have the Mines and Minerals Commission Act. There will be enhanced supervision, enhanced supervision of the mines. This is not only to Vedanta, to everyone who is misbehaving in the mines. We want to maximize benefit of the minerals to this country, and we are not playing around. Yes, it has taken long for these things to be put in place because our political, again, this country was damaged in 10 years, and people want Akainde to solve it in two years. No. Damage of 10 years requires a lot of time. If you were sitting in my chair as Minister of Mines, you can see the confusion that was there. And I was very shocked, my predecessor going on radio, ranting around. Looking at what he, was, he left, I just said, Insonye Ubuntu. Sometimes keep quiet and let others with the mandate work. Because the, the damage was, this country was on autopilot. And we have to say it as it is. So going forward, the Ministry of Mines, the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Finance will be working as a team, the Ministry of Commerce, to make sure that adherence to the Mines and Minerals Act or the, the Mines, the, the Commission Act is followed to the latter. It does not mean we are going to choke you investors. What we want are partnership that are mutually beneficial to yourselves and to ourselves as a country. So this is very important. With lessons learned from the past, these terms and conditions provide safeguards to present history repeating itself. We do not intend to have history. Thank you for that prayer, Minister. The history must not repeat itself on KCM. This time around, like the chairman said for ZCCM, this is a world-class asset. And we know that Vedanta, you are running a zinc mine in South Africa, world-class. We want a replication of that on KCM. We want world-class standards. I've grown up on that mine. We want properly adhere to rules and regulation and world-class standards where workers will be enjoying. Yes. The necessary legal formalities and procedures are also being attended to. It is very important that the country understands that now it remains with my colleague and his team, the Minister of Justice, to reinstate the board, to go through, Madam Celine is here, to, you know, issues of the provisional liquid data. Fionse Fidafia Kwatama procedure because they shouldn't have done that in the first place. So meaning that is why you are seeing those no in three months because these are now processes that the courts must run so that we do not be, be seem to be doing things like we are, we are from the bush. We are a meticulous government. We follow the law. The rule of law must be followed. And that's why these processes must run. Because I know there are question marks. No, why have they given this period? It's because these processes must run, including the creditor settlement schemes and all those things which are in the domain of my colleague, the Minister of Justice. It is not a secret that the asset has deteriorated a great deal over time and the production uh, output has substantially reduced. This is a very sad development for a national strategic asset. The New Dawn government, the UPND New Dawn government has a vision of realizing 3 million metric tons. Vedanta, I want you to listen. 3 million metric tons is our target and KCM is key to be part of those figures. So please push the asset when that time comes to go to maximum levels. I know that KCM can go to as high as 300,000 metric tons. So government will do its part, but do your part as well to make sure that the asset reaches those levels. We have made very bold decision to restore normalcy at KCM by bringing back or by restoring the Danta and it is expected to significantly contribute to the attainment of this target. In the two years we have been in office, we have strived to correct the damage 
that was created by the previous administration by conducting due diligence on KCM in terms of technical audit, environmental audit, financial audit, and production audit, among other assessments, while we have negotiated the best deal with Vedanta for the benefit of our people and the nation at large. It is the desire of the UPND administration to lay the foundation for faster, sustained, private sector-led growth by improving the investment climate, fair treatment to investors, though not at the detriment of the nation. We are going to be fair. I'm repeating the words of the Minister Copperbelt. We are going to be fair. It will be a win-win situation, but not at the expense of the common Zambian people. Um, we are also saying we'll build confidence as many others would be investors want to come and invest <coughs> in Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, Vedanta has made a number of commitments that we can only urge them to fulfill for the betterment of the people of Zambia and the Copper Belt in particular. What is critical is again, I repeat this word, to resuscitate the KCM asset. As you may be aware, the state of the KCM asset over the last four years has been dire Underground operations have nearly been halted. KCM certainly needs immediate recapitalization. We are therefore confident that Vedanta will run the mine according to our expectations and also set and actualize milestones. We expect the investor to work with Zambians out there who will play a critical role I am aware in the agreements that you are bringing just a skeleton number of people. The majority of the workers at Vedanta will be Zambians. The majority of workers will be Zambians. Those commitments are there. And uh, we want you to support our emphasize again. Suppliers and contractors have been on record as having said, the benefit on the mine, tax is important tax paid properly, but also what is critical are the activities, local supplier development programs. We want that to be enhanced when the SHA is, is reinstated. We care for our suppliers and our workers must be motivated. Sport, we need Konkola Blades in Changa Rangers, in Ampundwe Football Club. Those are critical ones. When we were growing up, I want to share this with you, Vedanta. Whenever Konkola Blades win in Chilabombwe, production at the mine used to go up. It's, it sounds as a joke, but it's true. Yes. Mr. Chewe will tell you, who've been in the mines, if Inchanga Rangers is performing, if Konkola Blades is performing, it used to be a trigger for development. So you do well to use that. I'm giving you free advice. When these teams are doing well, they are always, productivity would go up. If they are not a lot of accidents used to happen because miners were going underground frustrated. So you do well to do that. I was watching a game last week. There were thousands of people that follow that club, and most of them are miners. So you do well to support even sport as the SHA is, 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 is reinstated.